Today we're going to be talking about three types of graphs that are commonly used in the elementary schools. The first one is a circle graph, and a circle graph, also known as a pie chart, is used to show how parts of the data are related to the whole and to each other. These are the types of elements that are in a circle graph. You need to have a title and a key so you can see which each part represents. An example of a circle graph is here, and for the title, it's Favorite Animals. And over here, you will see in the key that the green represents lions, the purple represents panda bears, and the blue represents manatees. And what you do is you draw your circle, and then you draw your piece to be proportionate to what the outcome of the data is, so it represents it properly. The next type of graph is a bar graph, and these display data using bars of different heights, and it can be either vertical or horizontal bars, and the data can be in words or numbers. For a bar graph, you have essentially a giant L. Um, you have your y-axis, that is the dependent variable or the results, and then your x-axis, which is the independent variable. And this scale, you have to have a scale, which is basically um, what numbers you're going to use to represent your data. Um, so you could do like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 2, 4, 6, 8, whatever is most appropriate for your outcome. And an example of a bar graph is here. And you see our title is how many kids per family. And for the y-axis, we have a label of number of kids and then the number of families that we've collected the data on. And so we see here that family number one has three kids, number two has one kid, three has five, and then number four has four kids per family. And finally, the last type of graph is a line graph. And points are plotted on a graph, and it's the points are connected to form a line, um, and usually it shows the growth or progression of a experiment that's been done. And for here, you also need a title, and you have your y and x axis, and you need a label for each x axis. An example of the line graph is here, and it's a growth of plant. And down here, you have the day. So we did day one, day five, and day seven. And we see that day seven was about seven centimeters. And the purpose of a line graph mainly is to just show, like I said before, the growth or progression of an experiment that was conducted. And here are the resources that I got.